All right, and welcome to this Let's Play of Space Marine 2. I'll keep it short. Never played this game. It still hasn't been officially released to everyone yet, so this is quite early, and I will start a new game on hard if it's available. And if you are enjoying this, please hit those like and subscribe buttons. That's all. Okay, so here we have easy. Hack through enemy hordes in a mode optimized for the best narrative experience. Write your name in the history of the Ultramarines chapter. Normal. Uphold the ideals of the Emperor. Fight shoulder to shoulder with your battle brothers to establish the superiority of mankind in the galaxy. Fair gameplay challenge. Enemies are moderately aggressive. Resources need to be managed wisely. Veteran. Walk the path of a true son of a crag. Display your prowess no matter what abominations try to destroy you in flesh or spirit. Set up as the intended experience. Yeah, and I guess this is just overkill on Angel of Death. Yes, it introduces serious challenges. Confront a trial worthy of Gilliman himself. And that is quite the challenge. You are only one mistake away from recording your name upon the Pennant of the Fallen. Yeah, we'll go with Veteran. In the first first millennium, humanity stands on the brink of annihilation. The galaxy-spanning Imperium of Man is beset on all sides by hostile aliens and threatened from within by traitors and heretics. It is an age of constant war, a new dark age in which enlightenment is replaced by superstition, rhetoric and blind prayer. To live in such times is to be one amongst untold billions, existing in the cruelest and bloodiest regime imaginable. The most powerful and dreaded of the Imperium's defenders are the Space Marines, bioengineered superhuman warriors. They are humanity's last bastion against the terror. There is no time for peace, no respite, no forgiveness. In the grim darkness of the far future, there is only war. Kadaku.
The outskirts of the orbital launcher facility. Time since third invasion, day two. Kill team leader to squad. Box check. Repeat. Kill team leader to squad. Confirm Vox contact. We're crushed. It's from your position. New objective you locate. The virus bomb? Damn it. Locate the crashed Death Watch craft. By the Emperor, this looks quite nice. Mission Reign of Terror, Mission Description. A Tyranid High Fleet has invaded the planet Kadaku, placing an Alpha level product known as Aurora at risk. Advance to the orbital launcher facility and fire a viral bomb into the atmosphere to combat the Tyranid threat. Death Watch killed. Alright, so we do have a mission pointer. If we tap. Yeah. This looks very nice indeed. This used to be Imperial Guard. Melee attack. Survival. Armor. Damage depletes armor. Armor regenerates after a small delay. Health. Recently lost health can be restored by dealing damage. White line indicates the maximum regeneration amount. Alright, nothing weird about that. Nothing with that. 
Chain sword combinations. Heavy attacks. Hold right mouse button to finish a chain sword combo with a heavy attack. The longer the combo, the more powerful the heavy attack. Tactical approach. Use heavy attacks against large groups of enemies. I'm up to my elbows in these wretched gods. Any word from Brother Darius or the commander? Nothing. It is left to us to share the glory now, Telstras. Hold on, brothers. Defense. Parry. Press C to parry. Common attacks and attacks with blue indicator can be parried. Perfect parry. Perfectly timed parries will instantly kill smaller enemies and will stagger larger enemies. I have a feeling that we need to get really good at this. Really nice. Is, is that message going to be there until we actually have three active parries? Now they send larger me to stop me. Right. Dueling. Dodge. Press space to dodge attacks marked with a red indicator. These attacks cannot be parried. Locking onto an enemy. Press X to lock the camera onto large enemies such as Tyranid Warriors. Finishers. While an enemy is incapacitated, press E to perform a finisher to restore some armor. Okay. As you probably noticed, I am playing with mouse and keyboard, at, but I think this game actually works really well with the game gamepad as well. So I will probably try both of them out and see which one I like the best. Okay, so I'm actually using a gamepad now. Seems to be working pretty well. Looks like a destroyed anti-aircraft thing. 
Or two. Very hard not to. Brother, I will repay them tenfold. We have a fallen brother already. Old pistol, semi automatic precision pistol. This bolter will roar in your name, Darius. I swear on it. Space Marines are stoic, if nothing else. Oh, ammo box. Okay, that was pretty cool. Gunstrike. Weaken the enemy. Hold RB to knock back small enemies and mark them for a gunstrike. Shoot. Press RT to perform a gunstrike on a marked enemy. Gain the advantage. The gunstrike instantly kills small enemies and deals significant damage to larger enemies. Okay, let's see if we can get some of these. It seems like this game encourages you to look around a little bit, at least, because there's ammo boxes. Oh, we're full. That means we are shooting too little. Oh yeah, definitely. We need to shoot more.
we are running out of time. Kill team, I am at the crash site. Breathe the virus bomb. And there we have the ship. They are dropping like flies here. If you can hear me, I have the virus bomb. Headed to the orbital launcher. Is that as hard as you might see us? Come on! Well, I guess we're not going through there. launcher facility. Thank <laughs> you. 
Face the Emperor, we have some ammunition. the launcher. Okay, we are once again tapped up. Very nice, very nice. You have served your emperor well, brother. Wow, that looked a little weird, <laughs> but I think we're the last man standing now. Record log. To any Imperial unit that recovers this log, my kill team crash landed off course. My brothers are all dead, slain by Tyranids. I have the virus bomb moving to the orbital launcher. We'll fire into stratosphere where it will disperse over Tyranid positions. So he was sent from the Blood Angels chapter. I'm not sure which one we are from. Because he has that shoulder drape. Covers it up. Delicious ammo cache. Sector 2. I don't think we can jump in this game. Not as far as I can tell, anyway. But we do have a quiet corner, so I think this is where we'll end off part 1. See you very soon indeed. Oh man, what a start to this let's play. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I certainly am. If you are, why not hit those like subscribe buttons and we'll continue the purge in the Emperor's name soon enough.